get something done. Good evening. We'll call the Haywarden City Council to order on Wednesday, June the 10th, 2015 at 5.30 p.m. All present or council staff other than Mike DeBryan, Chief of Police. Uh, just one update on the agenda tonight. Uh, agenda item number seven has been taken off of the agenda for this evening. We will not be going into closed session. So following the consent agenda, we'll be going into adjournment tonight. First standard agenda item, as usual, is the approval of the May 27th, 2015 council meeting minutes. You have those in your packet. So moved. There's been a motion by Travis. Is second. there a second? Seconded by Tim. Any further questions or clarifications? All in favor then, please, of the approval of the May 27th City Council meeting minutes, say aye. 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 Those opposed? That passes five to zero. Next is the approval of the June 10th claims for payment. We'll start to my right with Monty with questions. No. Okay, no questions from Monty. Larry, any no. questions? No. Travis, questions? No. Okay, Tim? None. Payne, any questions on? None. Hearing no questions, I'd entertain a motion for approval of claims for payment. So moved. Moved by Larry. Is there second. a second? Seconded by Tim. All in favor then of claims for payment, say aye. 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 Those opposed? That again passes five to zero. Agenda item number 1C, open business from the community. Hearing none, uh, go to the mayor's report. The mayor's report tonight is just to honor uh, Pastor Dan Lozier. Pastor Lozier uh, passed away on Sunday, June the 7th at the age of 60. Pastor had served uh, the Associated Church here since 2009. Also was serving a, a UCC church, the Mayflower Congregational Church in Sioux City, along with uh, the Associated Church. He is survived by his wife, Donna, his parents, Ronald and Doris Lozier, his children, Danny, Amy and Jeffrey, also two sisters, Riza and Dawn, three grandchildren and nieces, nephews, and other extended relatives. We extend our condolences from the city of Haywarden and all of us to uh, Pastor Dan's family and also to the Associated Church. Pastor Dan had uh, suffered some uh, ill health here the last uh, while of his life, and, and I know they'll miss him greatly at the Associated Church also. He served uh, their church and our, our community very well. Next is council comments. Anything from council? Yeah, I got uh, one item that was approached this morning about to bring up the house on at 1226 10th Street. It was donated to the Center for Financial Education out of Sioux Center. They're going to start clean up on Saturday at that house, and they're looking for volunteers from about 9 to noon. So if anybody's interested, to help them out. 9 to noon this Saturday? This Saturday. Okay. They have to bring equipment and things, anything? Um, they didn't say to bring anything. They're just going to start cleaning that house. So. Okay. I see the street signs are up at the cemetery. Looks very nice, thanks to everyone that was involved in that. Anything else from council? The Calliope Village is going to have a family fun night uh, June 18th. I think it's three hours, 530 to 8.30. Public's welcome to that. It's games for the kids and a little fundraiser to buy tickets for 25 cents. June 18th. We'll move next to staff reports, and uh, we'll start with Tom, please. I have nothing tonight. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Gary Tucker? I, I have nothing tonight as well. Okay. You're quiet. <coughs> Mr. Pickner, anything? I'm with them. You're, with, you're <laughs> on the same bus? All right. Well, if there's nothing, we'll move on. Agenda item number three, hospital project update, please. Jason Pullman. Good evening. Um, just a hospital construction update. We have, uh, if you go around the premise of the hospital, we, you see we have construction fence up, so that's the first sign that something's gonna happen. Um, 
we had a pre-con meeting here in this in this room here uh, at 10 o'clock today with all the contractors, USDA, um, the architect, and uh, we then uh, uh, had a meeting, went over some ground rules and what uh, the USDA expects and what the, the Samuels group expects for behavior and all types of uh, things for the construction. And so um, uh, construction starts tomorrow. Uh, the, one of the general contractors will be putting up temporary walls tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the morning. So, uh, And by next week, you'll start to see the landscape of the, of the remaining lot or the block actually change because the, most of the earthwork will be done and the houses will be taken down the first week, uh, so next week sometime. So, so a lot of activity happening. Um, and uh, if you want to see it, drive by. Great. Any questions? Staff are all ready for all ready for relocation. Those types of things. We have uh, all doing? but one staff relocated, and I I told that person he needed to be re relocated today. <laughs> so yeah, everything's out of the pretty much the 1936 building. So wow. Well, we look forward to that. Yeah. Other than rain tomorrow, but that won't put a damper on anything. We hope. No, it shouldn't put a damper on anything. All righty. Well, good. No Thank questions. You. Thank you very much. Agenda item number four, resolution 2015-19, setting salaries for the fiscal year 2016 per collective bargaining agreement. You have that in your packet. Gary, want to expound on that at all? <coughs> yeah, the collective bargaining agreement and um, <coughs> was a, uh, this is the fourth year of a, of a four-year Agreement. It doesn't seem possible that that we're in the fourth year already. But uh, the collective bargaining unit had steps of increases. It was 43 cents the first year, 44 the second, 45 the, fifth, the third year, and 46 the fourth year. So we're in the fourth year of the the agreement. So the uh, increases were 46 cents for the collective bargaining, um, and then and what we've always done in the past is just taken that and averaged out. The salaries of the collective bargaining unit and came up with a percentage for the uh, those that weren't in the collective bargaining unit and that was 2.25 percent so that's what we've used for the others that that weren't actual collective bargaining employees where they um, uh, and so we've used for the last three years same formula so this is no change um, but it is important to keep in mind that we are going to have to begin negotiations again and that will probably start in September I would guess that so we'll get a letter from the collective bargaining group and start that process again so uh, just to keep in mind uh, we'll have some discussion at that time as to who we want to use uh, if we want to use uh, who you know who we want to use for negotiations and etc so Any further thoughts for resolution 2015-19? Is there a motion for resolution? So moved. moved by Tim. Is there a second to that motion? Second. Seconded by Larry. Are there questions or clarification needed? Hearing none, a roll call vote, please, for resolution 2015-19. Bowder? Yes. Olson? Aye. Harvey? No. Allen? Aye. Kurth? Aye. On a four to one roll call vote, resolution 2015-19 passes. Agenda item number five, I discuss with our director, Kathy, the proposal for future ambulance replacements. Kathy? Good evening, gentlemen. Thank you for taking this time to speak with me. I know all of you received the proposal in the packet, um, but if you'd like me to go through it bit by bit, I will. Um, otherwise, I would be open for any questions that you would have regarding it, regarding the proposal itself, or um, anything that would have to do with the replacement of the ambulance. Would you maybe just kind of give an overview of that for uh, the 
public would kind of have knowledge what the thought is uh, too? The Haywarden Ambulance is scheduled to receive a new ambulance during this fiscal year, the 2015-16 fiscal year. Um, we do have the funding available to purchase one new unit. Uh, the last unit that we purchased was in 2005. The second unit that we have was actually purchased in 1995. So that would be the unit that we would be looking at replacing. Um, the reason I'm bringing <coughs> forward the proposal is we would, we do have the funding for the one unit, but we would like to see if the council would approve for us to purchase a second unit since our current first unit, the engine has already been replaced in it. And um, due to some of the other issues that we've been having with that unit, this way we could have two very good units that we could use um, in order to maintain the services in Haywarden. <coughs> Did the proposal look like you looked at a lot of different options for where to get ambulances? And you, we did, and the, the best group? option that we found was through Aero Manufacturing in Rock, in, uh, Rock Rapids. What they do specifically and are very good at is a remounting procedure. So what they do is they take the box off of a unit, like our Unit 1, so it's the, uh, the square med tech box, the back end of it, and they remount it onto a brand new chassis. So it would be remounted onto a 2015 chassis, either a gas or diesel, whichever we chose. And they go through everything. They go through all of the wiring, they go through all of the hoses, all of, I mean everything, the lighting, and make sure that it's all back up to um, before industry standards. And then they also do have a very great warranty program in place. And should a, a problem occur with one of the units, they would bring a loaner unit down for us to use while the other unit is being fixed. That way we don't run into the problem where we have in the past. Um, as a matter of fact, I just had to have one of our units in to have the uh, air conditioning replaced. And so we were down to one unit where if we would have had a transfer, we would have had to put Ayrton or another um, squad on backup for us. So essentially what runs runs out on these ambulances is the chassis and all the engine transmission, all that type of stuff. Correct. Just... On our, our unit one, the 2005 unit, we've mm -hmm. actually replaced the engine in that already. Right. Uh, and that was only eight years into it. Yeah. Um, I had one of the other companies that I had looked into uh, and looking at some of the other companies, the least expensive unit that we could find and it was a demo unit so it already had 9,000 miles on it uh, was 129,000 and this remounted um, if you look at the proposal the remounted is 113 and that is like I said that's fully warrantied and everything has been gone through And that includes the lettering and the graphics and all of that that we would need to put on it in order to clarify which squad it belongs to. We get funding this year right from Sioux County in regards to assistance <clears throat> with this? Yes. Yes, I visited with Nate uh, a week or two ago and, and uh, we will get 46000 in October. And we currently have $109,000 in our budget for a new unit. So that's 155000 if you include the money that we'll be receiving from Sioux County. And it doesn't matter, Sioux County, if they're reboxed or no. all new or whatever. They just, here's your, here's your portion. You do what, do what you wish with it. Yes. Okay. What's the warranty compared to a new unit? What's the new unit warranty and what's a reconditioned warranty? Uh... I guess I'm not 100% sure on what the new warranties would be. I just know that the warranties with Rock Rapids uh, were uh, that if we, I think if I remember correctly, they would cover, I, I don't remember. I dealt with some of this last that. year and uh, any manufacturer, you have the same chassis warranty no matter where you go. The for the 
engine and powertrain. That's the same chassis industry wide, or the same warranty industry wide. Uh, the the other the warranties where it starts to vary is the consumables in the back end of the truck. Where and what I mean by that are like your door handles, your hinges, your lights, your wires, the breakers, that kind of stuff. Um, it's really dependent on the company, and the better the warranty you get, obviously the better rig and the higher priced. And to match some of the stuff that this this company can do, you're getting up there to where you're expending the full budgeted amount for this year plus Sioux County's money on one truck. So, and when you go with a demo unit, the 2005 we got was a demo, and that was where some of the issues came, because it was put together really quick. It was their third demo for that year, so it was kind of haphazardly put together. Um, it came with 7,000 miles on it, and but the powertrain on that was a Ford issue, hands down. It's, they've all been like that in those model years. The pickups are the same way. Um, from what I understand, the engine work that was done, it was just a replacement motor. It, and it was a rebuilt motor that was put in there, and none of the the fixes to prevent that motor from blowing up again were done to that engine. So that one's kind of a ticking time bomb. Is it, it, it could very well last another five to seven years. It might last a week. You just you don't know with those. I read somewhere, I think, in your proposal, then both boxes will be just very similar for the staff, whether they're in one or the Correct. other, everything will be... They would be matching, and so all of our equipment would be able to be in the same place, which is... It can be a challenge at times when you're in an emergency situation. Sure. If you're in the, in the second unit and things aren't exactly in the same place that they are in the first unit, especially if we have a driver or a newer EMT that hasn't completely familiarized themselves with everything, then it can be a, a hunting issue on finding certain things where with the matching boxes we'd be able to line everything up exactly the same in both units. <coughs> so then we're looking kind of at a total of, of both for 175, 373, <coughs> kind of what I found, okay. And then with the remounting option, what they do is they can actually take those same boxes then at the end of the seven to 10 year life frame and take that box off of that and remount it on another new chassis again. again. So, and then again, everything is re-gone through, all of the wiring, all the lighting, all of the hoses, everything is gone through again and brought back up to industry standards. Okay. The, the advantage to this is if you get to that timeline portion of the of the proposal that she gave you, you'll see that cost drop. Mm -hmm. the, the initial cost to start doing this is to get that second unit ambulance right now has a totally different back end than the first one we have, and we're trying to match the back ends. So the first one you have to buy a whole truck that's been remounted from them, so then you can get your base and then you can just keep those back ends and keep remounting them at a, at a lower cost. Sounds good. So like I said, with the first unit then, if we did this where we replaced them both, where we got the turnkey unit, so that would be the whole brand new unit that they would, that we would be getting from them. Um, and then the, we would take the box off of our current unit and put it onto a new chassis. So it still have the same box. It would just be on a different chassis with the new motor that doesn't have the issues that the current motor has. That'll give me my next question. Same, same Ford. Things? We're currently looking at the Ford because because that is a less expensive option than the Chevy, but it doesn't have the same issues that this particular year of Got motor those had. Worked out apparently. Yep, they they went from. In those model years, our 2005 is they had a six-liter diesel, and that's the one that had all the issues. And then a couple of years years ago, they came out with a 6.7. Okay. 
So we did a lot of improvements there. What would be the um, timing of doing this at the council? What, what, what are we looking at? Well, since it wouldn't be until the next fiscal year, I would wait until after July 1 to start, start working with Aero, um, and then they would start putting together all the specs and everything for the units then. And I don't believe we're scheduled to get the Sioux County money until October, but it's in the same fiscal year, so. Something like that, then we just carry that until we get, get the county money or how does that get handled you know as long as it's in the same fiscal year it's not a big issue okay. but as long as it doesn't extend beyond the fiscal year we're okay and with the timeline that can vary a little bit on the replacement we can work that out so that there's a little bit more of a time gap between remounting the first unit and remounting the second unit if we purchase them both in the same year how long does that process take of the actual remounting process do you know i don't think it was very long actually according to it was three three to six months okay the turnkey unit they actually have some of those already to go they just need to adjust them for any other specifications that we would have okay. questions or comments from council members so the total cost of this proposal is one hundred and seventy five thousand three hundred and seventy three dollars and they have a hundred and we got a hundred we have a hundred and nine and we'll get a we'll get some from the county for 46 155 to total 155 so what they want from me is thirty thousand dollars about 20 about a little over okay. yeah 20 and some change <clears throat> and there there was a second option on there of just doing the uh the turnkey ambulance first and, and then, then waiting, waiting on the other one and I talked to her a little bit today about that too is um, we might want to consider rolling the dice a little bit on the the one to replace the motor in and wait in a couple of years that way we can stagger it out a little farther because um, if you look at the timeline a couple of the years get pretty close together within like three to four years of each other and if we waited a couple of years to do that other truck then you can get it at least five years apart if not six and then reduce your costs even more over the 40 year span that this program can run because then you're only talking what was the the turnkey cost 113,000 that was with the the lettering and the graphics which we would we would essentially have that with the funding that we would have it would just be that if something would happen to that first unit that we would need to that we would like to be able to do the remounting process at that time you jump on the bandwagon pretty quick obviously and then you would be looking at the you know almost 62,000 at that particular time when unit the, that unit would if something would happen to that unit so we get the 46,000 from the county regardless of which option we do and yeah you just correct. have to use it for yeah you know, but for I mean, for so we'd have 50,000 still left equipment. over instead of <coughs> yeah. spending another yeah. you're saying that might be smarter just to separate. I, I think it might be because the the other advantage that the, the ambulance could take on waiting on that other truck a couple years is not only will it save us money in the long run because we can span those out a little bit farther than what this plan says is they presented at the chicken dinner that power load system yeah. that would afford them enough money within that budgeted amount for this year to be able to put that power load system in that Under new truck new unit. Okay. and then 
um, Save back. The, the replacement money for the truck that's that 2005 truck. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we're sitting at 45 already on that. So in another couple of years, we we might be at or very close to that 62 to where that money is there for it then. Two years would be at 50, about 55. 55. On that one, so, yep. so yeah, we'll be getting very close in two to three years if if it stretches out because that'll turn into the backup unit and won't get used as often. So that's what'll take a lot of stress off of that motor. And Payne is correct. If we would go with just the turnkey unit now, we would have enough in our budget to get the power load, power cut system that we were displaying at the chicken dinner, which... Which would be great. And then, yep, then everything falls within the budgeted amount. And then in a, in a few years to replace that 2005, that, that should be able to fall inside of what is already in that account for it. Just keep your fingers crossed on the, on the engine. Yeah, that, and, and that's that's a drop of a coin. You just you don't know when something like that's going to happen. Council, yeah, I was just going to say, uh, having talked with Kathy, I said we'd just put it on tonight for a discussion item and, and give everyone a couple of weeks to think about it, and and um, and then also. Uh, maybe give the public a chance to respond or if they have any thoughts or anything and then she can come back we have her on the agenda for the 24th again for Good. for an action uh, if you guys choose to do so something and uh, Very good. gives you some time to, to think through it and ask questions yep, if you have any questions that come up feel free to <clears throat> let me know send me an email or call me or and I'd be more than happy to answer them for you all right, appreciate the appreciate the input. Okay. Thanks for your work. All right, thank Thanks. you. Last agenda item is a consent agenda from uh, Sportsman's for a liquor license transfer on June the 20th of 2015 to the Hayward Community Center. Is there a motion for the consent agenda? So moved. Moved by Payne. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Tim. <laughs> All in favor of the consent agenda say aye. 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 Those opposed? It passes five to zero. Uh, nothing else for this agenda item. Our next regular city council meeting will be June the 24th. Would entertain a motion to adjourn. What was item seven? So moved. Moved by Travis. Is there a second? What was item seven? Seconded by Tim. Seven. All in favor of adjournment say aye. 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 Those opposed? Well, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it.